Her voice was like cats fighting in the alley. What did you guys think of Priest to Priest? I like the atmosphere that they created right away. Um, very church atmosphere. It was an interesting concept to see what goes on behind the church doors with the priests. And I think, again, they have a future in comedy as well. If they wanted it. Well, I'm a little prejudiced, but I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I think it was the strongest of the first three. And I felt that um, the priest was, was quite wonderful. And uh, which one? Yeah. <laughs> and and I thought it was a very good lesson about um, we're all hypocrites, and uh, we all have to learn. And I love the fact that in the end uh, he even took some relish in the fact that the boy uh, still wanted to go squirt the other guy with water. <laughs> so that was good. None of us are either all good or evil. Sometimes you gotta squirt somebody with a super soaker full of holy water. Well, I thought this was laugh out loud funny, and I don't know if anyone else was laughing, but I, I thought it was hilarious, and uh, the dynamic between the two characters was great, and a nice call, social comment on choices aren't always that easy, and sometimes you have to let things go, even if it's for the better of everyone, you have to make the decision to love and to, to be forward and have that attitude, no matter what happens to you, which is difficult every day. So I just I thought it was a really nice nice piece, and just really funny, and really... Uh, well done. I really love the dynamic of the two priests. You know, I just just a great dynamic in their conversation and how the story laid out in their conversation. A priest to priest confession. If you're up to it. One sec. So what I adore about this film is they did not clonk us over the head like a hammer on the on the theme, but they had that one perfect line. She embodied everything I hated, so I forgot she was a person. And that, that is an incredible line. I don't care what film you put it in, it will always hit you right in the feels. Because ultimately we do dehumanize people who we don't understand, who have beliefs we think are different than ours. And we might not agree with that character, but she was still a human being. And to see her crying at the altar was a really striking image, even if we didn't like her. I thought the cinematography was just absolutely perfect. It was just beautifully shot. It was, it was the color balance it was just gorgeous. It was it was eye candy uh, from the first minute to the end. Um, I would have liked to have seen the Antichrist bully that was the inciting incident for the uh, for the young priest um, because that would have that would have bookended um, the the film nicely. But I realized it was eight minutes and they packed in a lot in that it was just it was almost flawlessly done very very high production quality a note to all of the people who were cast in it because e even the the woman who plays the, the foil sort of the villain character um although i'm sure she's a lovely human being in reality she really like i believed her character it wasn't so overkill it was just enough for me to believe it it wasn't overly cartoony but it was it was on it was pointed and um and and the the little kid who plays the priest man of the cloth since last thursday Excellent. Beautiful, beautifully well done. Well, that's not a lot of funny. It feels like Saturday Night Live sketch. And the one nit I'm going to pick is this. The Catholic Church would not have a King James Bible. <laughs> and I don't know how they didn't catch that when they put that in the scene. It might be Anglican. I don't know. <laughs> well, I really liked how it was a combination of serious and funny right away. It was, like my favorite line was when the older priest said, you just have to believe in the power of love. I love that line. But then the little boy, he's so young, he has no idea what that means. And so I love the reaction when he said, yes, uh, yes. And it totally goes over his head. So a few like times that appeared, serious versus funny, even when the older priest was knocking on the woman who was drinking store, her reaction was uh, a good contrast. I think my favorite line, minus that one part, is where, like, from a metaphorical perspective, he says, do better than me. So, like, his generation to the younger generation, his part in religion to this child's part in religion, do better than me, which is a great thing to pass forward, right? And then, of course, the stick is like, no, I still need to spray this guy with holy water. He's <laughs> I mean, it's great. It's wonderful.